Hey everyone, welcome to statistics for fall 2021. I'm Kelly Bennett, I'll be your professor this term. So let's head over to Blackboard and let's access your 1342 course. So you'll see that you have an 0342 and a 1342. They're one and the same. It's a co-requisite course. You'll have the same grade for both. Um, the Blackboard pages are the same. All right, so by the time you're watching this, there will be an announcement here with this video embedded into it. And this is also where I'll post other announcements as well. So whenever I'm gonna send a class-wide email, I'll post an announcement, it'll get uh, stored here, but it also gets emailed to your San Jacinto email address. So it's really important that you have that set up. All right, if we jump over to start here, we're gonna see that we have an FAQ page. This is going to answer some of the common questions about how do I get started with my online homework? How do I enroll in my open math, which is what we're using for our at home exams, our homework and our projects? Um, what are the kind of the rules for homework? Tell me about the exams. We have two kinds of exams. We have at home exams and we have proctored exams. Um, and then the information about when and how to drop the course if that's something that you end up needing to do. Okay. Next, you have syllabus and calendar, which guess what? It's the syllabus and calendar. Ooh. So you can read those. Please read those. <laughs> Faculty profile. This is just my contact information and when I have office hours. I think for most of us here in a distance learning course, um, maybe we're looking for an alternative schedule to the typical business hours of face to face. So I'm really flexible and available on evenings. Um, it just email me to set it up. All right, and then you have this section here on proctored exams. So this is gonna to apply to the midterm and the final. All right, so that's kind of the layout. So let's start at the very beginning. Mom. So we have to register for the online homework platform and it's called My Open Math and I call it mom, M-O-M. So you're just gonna go to myopenmath.com if you already have an account with my open math then go ahead and log in and add the course as you've done in the past using the enrollment key and the course id from our faqs so boom here's our start here here's our faqs here's our course id and our enrollment key if you have never enrolled or signed up for myopenmath.com. It's really easy. I'll show you in two seconds. So all you would have to do is click register as a new student, enter in all this information, and then at the very bottom, enter in that course ID and that enrollment key I just showed you. That's it. So once you have enrolled in mom, then you're going to notice that the page is really all set up for you. So let's talk about what day one looks like. Day one, Monday, we can see here that we have an assignment. So whenever something is showing in the calendar, that means it's due that day. So orientation assignment is due Monday, the first day of class. Um, you can access it a few ways. You can click on it in the calendar and notice you'll have a link to the assignment itself. Mine looks a little bit different because I'm the teacher, but yours will look very similar. All right, so it's going to ask you a bunch of questions just about how the class operates. Da, 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 da. Submit your question, and then you have a couple more after that. Anytime you have a kind of this fill in the blank or upload question, it's not going to get graded immediately. So it's going to show zero. That doesn't mean you didn't correctly submit it. It just means that, hey, it's in the system. No one's looked at it yet. It hasn't been graded. So once it's graded, then you'll see a number assigned to it. So please give me a couple of days to get through everybody's um, written response or upload, and then you'll have a grade there. If it's been more than like a week, definitely email me because maybe I forgot. All right, so that's kind of the short version of how you do homework. You can always start and stop. You can spend as much time as you want in it. It's just when the deadline comes due at 11.59, uh, it turns into a pumpkin and your grade is finalized. Right, so Monday you have your orientation assignment due, Tuesday you have your first like real math assignment due. Um, and so all these due dates mean 11.59 p.m., right? So that's homework. How do you prepare for homework? Well, you wanna go down, scroll, 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 module one. 
So if I'm doing homework 1.1, what I want to do is I want to kind of peruse the sections from the textbooks here that I've linked. So you don't have to mess through what page we're on. Da, 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 da. I want to watch my lecture video. If I'm hyper organized, I would probably print out the blank notes and fill them in while I'm watching the lecture video. And then once I've done all that and made sure I've understood the material, I'm going to go and I'm going to attempt the homework here at the bottom. So this is another way you can access the homework is within the module listing itself. It is the expectation that you watch the videos before you attempt the homework. So I can see if you've done that or not, just FYI. All right, so you're gonna kind of repeat that for all the sections and then we're gonna have our first test. So the first test is gonna be an at-home test. There's gonna be a exam review, right. Okay, so exam reviews are always optional. You don't have to do them. They're just there for you. And then you're gonna have an exam. So your exam, let's go back to the calendar really quickly. Going all the way up, sorry. I hope no one got car sick. Okay, so notice that the exam is showing that it's due on Saturday. That's because it's open from Thursday to Saturday that weekend. So again, calendar items only show up on the day that they're due. So to get a little bit further detail into what's going on, let's actually access the calendar for this course. So if we go to course schedule, it's gonna open up this link here. And you just want to make sure that you are on the online anytime tab. So if we go to the top, we can see here that, okay, I should be following this lecture schedule. And then we're going to have this at home test here. So it's going to cover chapters one and two. It's going to be open Thursday at 12.01 AM and it's going to close Saturday at 11.59 PM. It's closed note closed browser. I guess I have to say these days, closed textbook. And you have to take it in one sitting, right? So there's no starting and stopping. So if you opened it, start it, and then walk away for 30 minutes, then 30 minutes has been taken away from your allotted time. So don't do that. The, we have four of these tests, right? And they're all in the calendar in orange. And then we have a couple other types of tests too. We have proctored exams. So we're going to have a proctored midterm, which is cumulative. That's going to happen October 14th to October 16th. And we're also going to have a proctored final exam, which is going to be December 6th through December 7th. So a proctored exam is exactly what it sounds like. You go to a place, someone is monitoring and making sure the integrity of the test is upheld. At Sanjac, we're going to offer this at all four campuses. And there's lots of times to choose from. You're going to have a link. You're going to sign up. There's a whole other rigmarole and orientation video for that, which you can see, please watch it. It's on mom and in Blackboard. Um, so those are the only two that you have to show up for. If for some reason the Sanjak campuses are, it's not reasonable for you to get to them, you can make other arrangements. So that's also handled in the proctoring FAQ. You just want to email me in advance with your proctor's information and where you're doing it and get my approval a week in advance before you set that up. All right, so that's test. I'm going to send out emails and announcements and reminders and clarifications before every big thing that happens in this course. So this is just a broad overview. All right, so let's go back to mom. So notice there's this thing called proctored exam info. It's exactly what it sounds like. Here's a video that you can watch that kind of explains it. Um, just some rules and general announcements, the times where you could go in, right? So huge chunks of time. Yeah, that's it. Homework, exams, you're gonna have projects. Those are basically like really long written homework assignments. And again, I'm going to email you all the instructions for that. I'm going to email you walkthrough videos for those. We're going to have office hours. It's going to be fabulous. So the first thing I want you guys to do, sign up for mom, do the orientation assignment. If you get that far, you are in excellent, excellent shape. So that's it. Email me if you guys have any questions. And I can't wait to meet everyone.